Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another broken car that's come straight in after the Volkswagen T5 that I had to fix. And believe it or not, another member of my family's vehicle has just broken down outside. I think the timing chain tension has gone. So I've like had three cars arrive on my doorstep in three days. But there we are. It's part of the fun of being the mechanic in the family. Here we have my dad's Renault Clio. Now, apparently the starter motor's failed. I haven't diagnosed it for him, but it won't start and it's not the battery. So uh, yeah, it's probably the starter motor. By the sounds of it, the starter motor was working. It was engaging the flywheel, but it wasn't clicking back. So that's probably burnt out the starter motor and that's why we've got to replace it now we've got a new starter motor here um, i'm not going to video everything on this but basically i've got to take out um, these pipes here i got to take off the inlet manifold as well believe it or not and this expansion tank and yeah it's not a job that i really want to be doing but um i suppose Let's uh, crack on with it. Okay, so you join me an hour or two later and uh, the starter motor is now out. So I'll explain to you quickly how I done it. Basically, I removed the boost pipe. Um, I removed quite a few of the coolant hoses, as you can see here, the expansion chamber, and also the battery and battery tray. Um, so down there, that bolt, you can't actually get it out without removing the wiring loom. So I undone the other bolt on the starter and the live and the solenoid switch off the starter. Then as I undone that bolt, I pulled the starter away from the bolt and I was able to wiggle it out. So it was quite a time consuming thing, but um, at least it's out now. Um, I'm sure we've all seen those memes, haven't we? Of, you know, them, uh, Oh, those guys who work in car parts shops you say can I have some window wash fluid please and they go well is it a V6 or a V8 <laughs> it's like I don't know I just want to anyway even with all their computers they always seem to get the parts wrong so this starter the new one it's got a blade type connection this one's got a thread I could adapt it but I'm not going to because they, they've sent the wrong part so we're gonna have to sort that out tomorrow now but at least we're at the halfway point and then tomorrow we can refit the starter and replace the lost coolant and get this car back on the road I have tested the starter um, it's definitely dead so what I done was connected the jump lead from the battery and then I put a live then to the live post on this starter and then I also put a live then onto the uh, solenoid post and it's drawing a lot of current because it's sparking like crazy on the jump leads but it's not actually doing a lot and then occasionally it will just make a funny click but there's definitely something wrong with that so um, yeah in this case I think it is the starter that's at fault so that's all for today. I will update you tomorrow when we get the right starter motor. But for you, it'll be a couple of seconds. Okay, so it's the next day. And it turned out they, wouldn't ha they didn't have the right starter and they couldn't get it for a while. So I ended up just clipping the wire, fitting the spade connector. Um, it's not, I would have rather just got the right starter motor, but the owner wanted the car. Um, back as soon as they could have it and they just asked me to do that so I did that um, obviously reverse of the removal it's all back in now and um, I'm just bleeding the coolant system because I had to take a couple of radiator hoses out so um, there will be air in the system so I've topped it up just waiting for it to get up to temperature once that thermostat opens it's going to start bleeding all the air out and that coolant level in that tank will drop and uh, 
once it does drop I'll top it up and then it's finished ready for my dad the owner to come and collect so yeah nice little job it's quite a clean car my dad only paid uh, I think 1200 quid for it or 800 quid something like that <coughs> it's um, a 1.2 litre turbo um, you can't really tell it's a turbo although my dad would say it's an absolute beast <laughs> um, but yeah it's not like uh, I don't know I think you can remap them and get a fair bit of power out of these little 1.2s so uh, I think my dad's been thinking about doing that but yeah a really clean little car I do love a Renault thinking of buying one myself I'm looking at the Megane RS it's a track car essentially but uh, yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one when I'm probably going to be fixing my brother-in-law's transit so I, it's quite funny really I've had the Evo gone and same day the T5 turns up the day I finished the T5 this was in and yesterday my brother-in-law's time and chain tensioner I think has uh, failed and he drove it home and somehow he survived well he drove it to mine rather all the way from Cardiff which is about 40 minutes away so um yeah, we might be doing that, but he's not sure what he wants to do with that yet. So yeah, lots of plenty of videos coming, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.